Hello everyone, welcome to Court with Chrissy. If Judge Manning had landlord-tenant cases, they might look like this. I might have a new favorite judge. Meet Judge McNeil. I hope you like it. Court with Chrissy is now in session. Just wanting to make sure. And then our other case that's back from last week is position 26. Oh, here we go. Nope, that's something else. Um, let me look at position 26. My understanding of the law in the state of Georgia is that when someone passes away, whether they have a will or they don't have a will, any real property has to be handled through the estate. And the administrator or executor of the estate has the authority over that real property unless there's some agreement or order contrary. By turning the month, do, do you think I have that correct or am I incorrect? Judge McNeil, I wouldn't put myself in that position, but um, I would agree with your assertion. Ms. Feynman Sowers, do you agree with that statement of the law, or am I? There's, or somehow I'm misunderstanding the procedure. Um, I I apologize, Judge. I um was doing some other work. I didn't realize you were addressing position number twenty six. Okay. So I'm trying to say out loud what I understand Georgia law is related to real property um, and the death of a person. That so doesn't apply in our case, Judge. Okay. So your case is completely different. Yes. All right. So, Mr. Namont, Ms. Feynman Sowers and their uh, party on the other side were here last week. So I'm going to take them first because this is their second time here. Yes, Judge. And so let me get those pleadings in front of me. So this is the case of 24D25759 Aman Kadane versus Maret Sahay. How do you say it correctly? Sahaye. Sahaye? Mm hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, Mr. Kadane has asked this court to grant a writ of possession. Judge, I mean, Mr. Kadane is, is not um, present. This person right here is not present? The the plaintiff is not present. Mr. Uh, Are you present, uh, Mr. Kadane? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. you so Mr. Kadane has asked this court to grant a writ of possession saying that the tenant fails to pay rent now due thereon in the amount of $2,500 and $85 per day. And Ms. Um, Feynman Sowers has filed an answer saying that the plaintiff is the property owner and denies everything else in the answer. So, Miss, let's have a hearing. Mr. Kadane, do you have a landlord tenant agreement with Miss Sahane? No, I don't. Well, who is she? How is she there in the property? Well, Neret was married to Jonas, and uh, according to their PTO, he was supposed to pay. They're not together anymore, so he was supposed to pay for about a year. 
withdraw until September. So he paid until September, but he doesn't live there anymore. After September, that was supposed to be her responsibility, and I have never, I never got any kind of payment. So, you own a property at Stone Mountain. That's correct. And you had a lease with what person? Did you have a, a lease or an oral agreement? Yeah, a lease, and uh, they all he already have. What's uh, his name? What's his Jonas. name? Jonas. How do you spell it? Y O N A S. And is that his first name? Yes, ma'am. What is his last name? Kidane. The same thing. He's my brother. K I D A N E. All right. So your brother had a written lease with you, and this is his wife, Miss. Well, they were Ms. Ms. was his wife at the time yes. of the lease. Yes or That's no? Perfect. I'm his wife. So, Miss Sahane, be quiet. You have a lawyer who's handling your matter for you, and she's okay. going to ask you questions if necessary, okay? Okay, I'm sorry about that. That's all right. Mr. Kadane, your, you had a written lease with your brother, and he's there with his wife at this property you own, correct? That's correct. And he paid you money through September of 2024, correct? Well... He did not live there for the last year. I don't care where he lived. That's not my question. Yes, ma'am. Did ma he pay you through de September of 2024? That's correct. That's according to the PTO. Who paid you? Jonas. He paid me. Okay. Now, in October, did you make a written demand that Ms. Sahani pay you money? No, I don't have any kind of contact with her. So you made no demand of her? No. All you did was file this case? Well, what happened was last year, they had an agreement from the court. That I don't he care about that. I care about landlord-tenant law. So did you go to the house and post a notice saying, I want possession back if you don't do X, Y, Z? No, I did not. Did you it, mail anything that said that? Well, my... Yes my, my, or no? No. Did you text her? I, I don't have any contact. Okay. All right. Miss Feynman Sowers, do you have any questions for this gentleman? Um, I guess just a briefly, do you have a, 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 a you, Mr. Kadade, you provided me a copy of a lease you had with your brother, correct? That's correct. Okay. And the lease term on the one lease that you have provided was June of 2023, ending the end of December of 2023. No. No. Do you have another lease agreement that's... But what happened is the court told him that he has to pay until September. So I huh? stayed with the court. Mr. Kidade, I'm asking you if you have another lease agreement with your brother beyond that six-month period in 2023. The, 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 court, the agreement that I have is the one that I sent you. I, I think I believe... So that is your answer no? I you don't no, have I any other date. lease agreements. The dates that I have is until September. I don't. I don't. I don't know where you get that June from. I'm getting it from the copy of the lease that you provided me. I have to look at it again. I'm sorry. Okay. Could you please do that to refresh your memory? Sure. sure. Let me look at it real quick. Okay. And Mr. Kadani, if you could also please identify whether or not while you're looking, if you have any other lease agreements other than that one with your brother. No, it's uh, more verbal because I never had a problem with him. He lived there for a long time. He used to always pay in time. 
until okay. this whole thing started. Okay, so so is your answer no, you have not had any other written lease agreements with your brother other no. than the time period June of 2023 until December 2023? Not in my position. Oh, by the way, I'm looking at it. So it begins on September 1st of 2023. And ends on at twelve o'clock midnight on nine one twenty four. I don't know where you get that dates from. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I you haven't. Are you reading from a lease? Are you reading from the uh, family protective order? No, the lease agreement that I have. I can screenshot and send it to you right now. All right, y'all wait a minute. Y'all exchange those documents while I hear from Mr. Steersman and Mr. Whitney who needs to get to work. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Whitney, can you hear me? Thank you. I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you. All right. So in that break, Ms. Feynman Sowers, have you figured out what he's referencing? Did he give you a different lease than what what he's re referencing, Attorney Feynman Sowers? Mr. Kadani, Judge, Judge, I just like within the past 50 seconds received an email from him um, with the with only a first page of a of what he's alleging is a lease agreement. Um, and it's dated it is dated September 1st of 2023 through um, September of 2024. That's However, a, that's do we really need to get into that? Because what he said to me was, he's never demanded possession. Well, she, I, Judge, our argument is that she's a tenant at will uh -huh. and that he he's needs never to... never demanded possession. No. never. So, Mr. Kandane, you don't understand what you're doing. You can't pick, pick people out of housing without following some very specific um, rules. And you don't seem to understand what they are. And they're not the rules set forth in a, P, a TPO order or any kind of order about family law. You have some sort of relationship. And this court finds that you have a landlord-tenant relationship with this woman without a written agreement, which means you need to give her 60 days notice for her to move. You have to show this court that you've notified her she has to move within 60 days. If she doesn't move in those 60 days, then you can proceed. Your grounds here is she didn't pay you rent in October, which doesn't require 60 days, but you haven't given her notice at all. You know where your property is. You can provide her with notice. So your case is denied. Ma'am, you can stay living there. He clearly wants you to move. Find some other place to live. Because he's going to get it figured out shortly. When he refiles. Judge, yeah. I'd like to make, uh, make uh, a motion to have pursuant to Uniform Magistrate Court Rule 6D and have this uh, matter sealed, given now that she's on notice that she needs to find an, another place to live. She's been living in this property for 10 years. She has no rental history. If this pops up on her record, she and her son are going to have a difficulty finding alternative housing. I agree with that. So, Mr. Kandane, I see this as a family matter, even though it's your brother's wife or ex-wife. It's a family matter. She's been there a long time. You haven't followed the rules. In order to get rid of her, she's got to be able to find some other place. If we don't seal this record, no one's going to rent from her. So I'm going to seal the record. But you've also sued her twice. Have, has he sued her twice now or just once? Just once, Your Honor. Just once. If you sue her again and lose, you won't be able, you, you will have waived the money claim for at least for October. But if you lose again, or maybe October and November, depending on what you're asking for. So 
this case is denied. I'll do an order denying it, and I will do an order sealing the case because it was not filed correctly. And that's not the error of the tenant. All right. Y'all may be excused. I'll Thank do that you, Thank you so much. Now, I found exhibits on the Maddox case. <laughs>